Hello my pen friends and welcome to the channel again. This is the first video of a series of three videos in which I'm going to show you the pen factories I visited while I was in Italy and also you will have the chance to meet the people that work there and the people that own these factories and these operations and you will have the chance to see the workshop and everything about them. This video is dedicated to the company called Leonardo Officina Italiana and it is a small company based in Naples, Italy that has the headquarters and the workshop inside a complex called Oro Mare in Naples. In that complex many companies rent space and use this space to design and create luxury goods and polished stones, work with gold, with silver, with platinum, with everything that has to do with that kind of luxury items. Leonardo Pence was established in 2018 by Salvatore Matrone, the CEO, and his father, Ciro Matrone, which it is a very famous pen maker in Italy with well over 45 years of experience into pen making and he was also the co-founder of the Delta Pens company. I was fortunate enough not to travel alone into these trips and I had my friend Stefano from Corsani with me and I just want to say Stefano if you're watching this thank you and let's not waste time and watch the video. guys we just got off the train and I'm heading to meet with Salvatore Stefano is went over there here it is Salvatore is there yes Salvatore is there he's okay waiting he's waiting for us okay let's go ciao wow. how are you fine you ciao just... Stefano ciao Salvatore ciao, ciao. ciao. so okay. it's okay let's go Right? Okay, okay. As you enter the company, you enter into the assembly area and the office. They are into a very big room and from that on the hallway down you have the second room which is the workshop where they are storing their materials and also have very big machines to turn rods and make barrels for pens and knowing me I run to the hallway right to the storage area where the very very rare celluloids from the former company Omos are stored and used to make pens for ASC and wall ever shop. Diciamo un campione che mi sono ritrovato nello scavo perché io questo qua l'ho preso questi materiali queste barre corte, queste qua, queste blu e queste cose qui. L'ho preso da una and this is what dreams are made of. Arco Verde and the brown Arco is a huge chunk of celluloid. I can't wait to see which pens are made out of this one. Also we can see the burl wood, this is the material for the Visconti Divina Proporzione and also I believe this is the blue celluloid and this box it's filled with Arco Verde, I can't wait to see the pens that are made from this material. It's sad for me to watch this because that is the last known stock of old celluloid from Omas. 
and into that orange bundle it's the last known stock of Arco brown material and on the right side into that cardboard box was filled with Arco Verde rods that the guys from ASC are planning to produce the Bologna Extra. So if you plan to buy a pen into an Arco Verde or Arco Brown material, I'm suggesting to go and buy it now because they won't be available. And as far as I know, no one in the world can produce anymore the Arco Brown and the Arco Verde materials. Salvadori, would you kindly tell my viewers what are you planning for this materials and when can we see some products made out of this? Uh, we are making the deco band green, the new de wall level shirt deco band green. This material. <coughs> also, with this, this is a blue positano for deco band wall level shirt. This is uh, our tesoro. Yes, this is the All legacy. The All the molds that your father build mm -hmm. right yes this is a treasure of the family mm -hmm. or something like this yes. sort of very very nice and interesting for me <coughs> this is a mold for a clip yes for clip does this mold stamps or it is poured in it? Stamps. Stamps. Yeah. Stamps a, a brush sheet. See, si. yes. Perfect. It's an order. It's very similar. Yeah. But it's the deco. Nice. So you were telling me this is bought from the old Omas stock? Mm hmm. It's so nice, guys, and you can see the patina on it. I can't wait to see what pen receive this clip. You are saying to me that these are the clips that you use on your pens. Mm -hmm. And this is a brass one. So you I think this is from the deco band. This one? No, no. no, no. For uh, my special collection, and uh, also this one for for the ring. It's ah, different. With the no? ring cap. See, the ring cap is different. Yes. A new piece of equipment. A sort of a machine that polishes the clips of the pens with wet stones and a vibration or using vibration and the factory it's growing guys as you probably can see Salvador is very proud of his father and he spent half an hour showing me every clip that his father created for so many pens and also he showed me the stamps that were used to cut the clips from the brush sheets that were made by his father. After this I asked him if we could see his father working and this is what we saw.
probably can see I've got some great shots of the material being turned and flying bits of celluloid and everything that has to do with pen making. I took the liberty to ask Salvadori if I could have some small bits of material for a project of mine. I want to make a showcase for my office so I can have a collection of materials, of old materials from vintage pens like celluloids and ebonites and everything like that and he was okay with that. So let me show you what I brought home with me. The first material it's the rosewood ebonite which Salvadori uses in his Momento Zero collection. It's a very nice material. The second one it's a Omas, the Burkina. It's a gorgeous yellow celluloid with dots with black dots and lines it's very very nice also we have the material used for the Bologna Extra ASC dark side and we have another material used for a very special collection the Bologna Extra Israel special edition and I saved the best for last it's the famous Arco brown material over here you can see it it just glistens into the light and it's amazing this material is so nice and also the rarest of them all the Arco Verde this is a small piece that I will use to show to the people when this material will will cease to exist after we finished buffing everything and everything that had to do with these materials. We moved into the first room of the factory where is the assembly line and the office and we started to, Salvatore started to show me his latest collection, the Momento Zero in resin in three colors and one specially made for Corsani in very limited edition 15 pens and we started to talk and after that we departed. So let's see the next footage. Now that we are here, Salvatore, would you kindly show Hello. the viewers this weapon? I believe it's a new project for you. Yes, this is a gun. It's a gun. It's amazing. It's a Beretta. It's a Beretta. It's a Beretta stand. All mechanical. This yes. is brass. This is brass. Made in Italy. Made in Italy, very, very hard. It's a and chunk of metal. And, and then? This is the stand for a very special project pen yeah. that Salvadori is working on in collaboration with the Beretta. So nice. So much craft. My ship went into this and as obviously it is made in Italy. So here we have some trays which I really want to take home with me. This is the Black Gatsby. Salvadore, this is uh, Ebonite? Yes. Yeah, Black Ebonite. And also, also this one, it's orange. The orange Ebonite. Ebonite, yes. With the guilloche. With the guilloche. On the, on, the, on the body. Nice. And this is the resin that we This is the uh, Italian resin. Yes. We are we, uh, producing the Positano Blue. Nice. For Decoban. It's wonderful. Yes. With the vacuumetric filling yes. system. Yes. And we have also. This is a resin oh. for Israel. <laughs> The new mm -hmm. Israel. The wall ever sharp? Wall ever yes. They're yes. coming up with the version just like the yeah. ASC. Yeah. And this is the green Jada. The jade, new color. Jade green. Jade, jade, jade green. green. Mm -hmm. yeah. From what I see, it's more of a turquoise than a jade. Mm -hmm. But in real life, it's more green. This is small parts of uh, yeah. green. Yeah. Nice. 
As you saw, those are the special project that Salvadori was working when, when I was there. That uh, Beretta collaboration, it's a pen for the brand Beretta that produces guns. And that huge chunk of metal was a pen stand that it was machined from a solid block of brass and it was resembling the top part of a pistol and in between there there was a pen that it was in the shape of a bullet and also you guys saw the collaboration of Salvadori with the wall ever sharp and delivering the latest black apple knight wall ever sharp with the guilloche after we discussed all of those i asked Salvadori if he could provide two pens from his newest collection for me to review and share with my viewers and he provided two of them this is the the blue one which it's as far as i can tell you after testing it for a few days it's just amazing you get so much pen for those money it's outstanding and the retail value of this pen it's around uh, 150 euros it comes with a steel nib and we will have a better look at it into a review that it's coming also he provided a different nib this is a stub nib and a different color which is the red one and also we will have a better look at it in a separate review after we settled everything and I've packed my video gear and everything we said goodbye and we departed me and Stefano to Rome with the train again so to conclude everything I'll just have to say a few words about them Leonardo Pants is a new company that has so much heritage and they are delivering so much quality into their goods and I'm really really pleased to see the progress from the first collection because in January when I was in Rome I've tested the first collection and I made, I made some very interesting pen points for Salvadori to resolve those issues that were on pens and I was happy to see that he took care of it and in this newer collection we have those things resolved so in the future it's very very good to keep an eye on this company and to the products that they are delivering because I think we will have many more surprises to come and by surprises I will give you an inside tip that uh, Salvadori shared with me he is currently working at a second collection of very limited edition pens from celluloids so I'm not going to share with you which celluloids will be but you will just have to wait and see and those pens I think they're going to come with a gold nib and also a piston if I'm not mistaken but we will have to wait and see so to conclude everything you just have to keep an eye and watch this company because many great products are yet to be delivered okay. Salvadore, thank you very thank you. much for having me here okay it's a pleasure okay it was an amazing experience to be here and I wish I will collaborate with you more yeah, in the future sure, sure, sure. and thank you for sharing this opportunity with me to see the factory I hope you do well and I expect a lot of new things from you thank okay. you very much thank you bye have bye. a nice bye. day ciao, bye ciao. you for everything and I hope I made this entertaining for you remember the because 
this is my first time doing this so it's very hard for me to learn everything because I'm learning by testing everything and by watching tutorials on YouTube and everything like that so bear with me and if you want to support me please share this video like it subscribe to the YouTube channel go and follow me on Instagram there you can see a better, you can have a better look at my collection and also to many many great photography that uh, I'm currently making so thank you for everything and I hope that you will enjoy the second video which will include a different pen company thank you and have a great day bye